All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hopefully doing well. My name is Bits, if you may or may not know, and I release content on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And this video is a little bit special because it's going to be answering a lot of your questions in regard to what am I doing or what are my plans for Satisfactory 1.0. So the first things first, are you going to be playing Satisfactory 1.0? Yes. Am I going to be doing a Let's Play? Yes. Am I going to be live streaming behind the scenes of the Let's Play? Yes. Are you going to be live streaming that on Twitch? Yes. Are you going to be live streaming it on YouTube? Yes. Because I'm going to be doing it at the same time as Twitch and YouTube. So I stream every Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every weekday at 10 a.m. UK time. And that'll be live streamed to Twitch and also YouTube at the same time because we are now doing that. So on Twitch, you'll have 1080p and the culture and the economy over there. Whereas YouTube, you have more of a laid back audience. The chat and Twitch live, uh, the YouTube live stream is not the best experience. But one thing it does have is one hell of a video quality for the live stream. Without other way, that's not the topic of this video. Basically, Satisfactory 1.0, we are doing a let's play. Are you going to be doing guides and uh, tutorials and stuff and tips and tricks? Yes. And then what is going to be your release plan for the videos? There's going to be no release plan. We're just going to be sticking with the normal weekly schedule on this channel, which is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with, with the exception of the re satisfactory release day, which is a Tuesday, which is Tuesday the 10th. So there might be a launch video I might do on this channel because I feel like it's just something we have to do. Satisfactory 1.0 releases, boom we drop a video and then going forward every monday friday you know wednesday monday friday all that kind of stuff and then i kept getting asked why not for the first couple of weeks release daily videos um because i don't want to just overdo it i don't want to waste a lot of footage and give you quick footage uh, rather than a more structured video um i feel like sometimes you have to reserve back for quality over quantity. But this then also allows me to backlog videos ready in case I take a week off. In regards to the live streams, yes, I'm gonna be talking about this because it is a big part of what is gonna be happening with Satisfactory 1.0 launch. Because with me streaming on Twitch and streaming on YouTube, there is something I always do every year. And it's basically a uncapped marathon event. And if you don't know what that is, it is basically I start a stream on a said day. Normally it's September 1st. This year it will be on September 10th, which is satisfactory launch day. I start the stream at 10 a.m. Uh, UK time and I set a default timer and the time will be on stream and it's usually set for six hours and then whatever contributions come towards stream this is from like sub bits uh, and this year obviously YouTube so YouTube memberships and joining all that kind of stuff will add time to the timer and the more that if that timer reaches zero the stream ends there and then so you can see why it's a marathon because three years ago I did my first one and we did it to New World's release and we went for four days no it wasn't four days it wasn't New World release either the first one was for four days but it wasn't for a said game year two was new worlds and we did that for 52 days and then last year we did it for starfield and then after i finished and completed starfield we did variety that marathon went on for 67 days i was live for 67 days straight and before you get worried and start commenting and being a little keyboard warrior right now is Yes, I did sleep <laughs> and look after myself during that time. The first year, however, the four days, not a chance. You must be wondering how it kind of works in regards to content wise. Well, I start at 10 a.m. Like I said, I finish that day at 11 p.m. where I will then put up the, that day's live stream back on and people can rewatch it overnight. I come back to the stream, so the stream is still live. I will come back to the stream at 7 a.m. in the morning. We kind of sit there, we just chill for about an hour. We just have coffee. I talk to you guys. We just basically just chill out, have breakfast and all that. And then normally I'll go over, um, start looking at what the plans are for the day, which obviously we'll be playing Satisfactory and we'll be playing Satisfactory all the way up until 11 p.m. again if the timer is still going. So that does mean you could be looking at potentially 15 to 16 hours, 15 hours, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 hours a day of content, which will be live. 
here on YouTube and also on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching that, not is it just a random save, it's going to be the save that is doing the Let's Play, which as you know, I like to build all of my Let's Play videos and pre-build them live on stream so if you've if you've never seen me or how it works before let's say for example episode one of the playthrough episode one of the 1.0 playlist is i launch the game we go into a brand new world i create a save checkpoint as we land which is called save well 101 which is episode one checkpoint one and then i would do some bits i'll start laying some foundations unlocking a few little things in the hub and then i'll create a new save called 102 and then i'll do a few more things but in the meantime i'm also jotting down on my little obsidian program or software i have here what i did at them intervals so what did i do between 101 and 102 what did i do between 102 and 103 so let's say for example when uh, I do a recording. I'll sit down here. I'll open OBS, which is my recording software. I will then sit down and go, right, in today's episode, I want to build, I'm going to be building this, 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 and this, which is probably around 10 checkpoints in, gen in, in, in kind of like on average. And each of them checkpoints have a little bullet point in each one. So like, I need to build this before I load up this save because it won't make sense to you guys because uh, it's kind of like a story or like an episodic episode right so i will then start recording i'll go doo -doo 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 -doo, welcome to the you know the, the live stream what's going on guys and all this kind of stuff today we're going to be doing this blah 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 i will then load up the next save and then i know kind of know what we're kind of going to be doing i'm going to put smelters down and put constructors down these are going to be screws rotors all this kind of stuff then i load up the next save and that's when i'll be like bob's your uncle da -da -da -da. fanny's your aunt <laughs> I'm spilling the secret sauce. I'm breaking the fourth dimension right now. So uh, hopefully you can respect it. I'm an open book. So if you want to ask any questions away, I do answer everything. Like anything you can think of when it comes to my content creation. Because I don't like this whole shadow and mist around content creation and what goes into it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so ask away either in the comments or on the live streams. So as you know, I also talked about the other day what's going on with the channels. And as you know, we have this channel, which releases content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We have the More Bits channel, which releases, which started yesterday uh, with daily videos. And then we also have the VOD channel. Update, the VOD channel has been scrapped. We're not releasing footage now on the VOD channel. The reason being is because with me live streaming on YouTube now on this channel, when the live stream ends, it automatically goes into the live category, which is, uh, if you go to actually my homepage of my Twitch, uh, my YouTube channel, my YouTube page, there's a live tab. So if you ever miss a live stream, it's already in there and it gets loaded instantly after the live stream ends. There's no waiting up to 48 hours and you've got really good bloody quality. You're just going to, you know, look at this ugly mug for eight hours straight if that's something you're interested in. But whatever tickle you bought or you fancy, you know, I don't blame you. The next thing I want to talk about is what is the plans with the guides and the tips and tricks and the tutorials? Well, as you know, Satisfactory has been in early access now for five and a half years, uh, roughly around there now, because March 29th, uh, well, March 19th, sorry, of uh, 2018, uh, 2019, sorry. Um, and a lot of my tips and tricks and guides and all that kind of stuff and are kind of now outdated because recipes have changed, the game's changed overall. We're going to revisit vital tips and tricks um, vital guides in how to do stuff and we're going to be releasing these every so often to be a filler video during the week for when i'm working on a main satisfactory video as well as other games that will be releasing um that could be involved on this channel but that will more than likely be from october onwards because by the time october comes we're more than likely in the tier four tier five zones which is highly highly likely and we're starting to work on larger projects so all the tips and tricks and the guides are going to get a whole overhaul uh, we're basically just going to do what the movie and um games industry is doing right now is just remaster my vods and <laughs> guides just so they're more updated and basically ready for 1.0 because we know for a fact then most things aren't going to change the next question is um what are you going to be implementing from the other series that you want to do in this one and to be honest i'm going to be handpicking a lot of the fan favorite stuff that you guys like into this series it's going to be an all-in-one series that i am super looking forward to super stoked for 
because you guys love the engine builds. You guys love the highway. The water bottling, we've got to make sure we bring that back. Otherwise, are you guys going to be able to go a day without me saying water bottle <laughs> or bottle of water? As uh, a lot of you guys try to imitate. it. <laughs> Yes, we are going to be doing mega builds. We are going to be going, um, we're going to make it fun. But something new that we're going to be bringing into this uh, this series is we are going to be doing some more unique design buildings. We're going to be start doing some more rounded buildings. We're going to be doing all that kind of stuff. We're going to be making distribution centers. We're going to be uh, doing a lot more things in regards to logistics, uh, because as we know, with the upcoming changes, a lot of the nodes, are, well, there's a lot more nodes, they're a lot more scattered, and there's not as many rare ones as the ones before, um, because of, well, there is, but it's just that they're now kind of more scattered around, and we need to start utilizing the train a lot more than we kind of was in the past and I already thought there was nuts um but hopefully we can there's a new feature coming possibly fingers crossed uh where we can put a waypoint down on the train track so we can go oh yeah train I want you to go to this station I then want you to go to this waypoint signal on this track so I can force a train to go onto that track without it choosing the fastest route for <coughs> what the hell just happened to my front <laughs> I need to hydrate. Oh, definitely need to do that. So yeah, as I was saying before I become a frog, um, I want waypoint signals. It's one key feature I've wanted that we can put a waypoint signal down on the train track. We can tell a train to go to that signal. Um, so he has to forcefully go towards it, which means we can force trains onto a said track, which means we can control our train logistics hell of a lot better um instead of the train being going the fastest route all the time i know this might not you know um be a problem for a lot of people because you might not build large train tracks and you might not do that sort of stuff but for those people who do you'll understand why we want it i don't think there's anything else i need to cover because this video has gone on for way too long now it's going around technically i've been recording for 25 minutes um but i don't think there's anything else i need to cover we've talked about the twitch streams the youtube videos the let's plays the guides the tips and all that kind of stuff yeah i guess the only thing uh i could say is just thank you for your love and support i am ready for 1.0 and like I said, if you are interested in checking out my variety content, links are in the description if you want to check out more bits, daily content, where I just basically sit, play games, and just have a good time if you want to see my other content other than Satisfactory and Factory Games and all that kind of stuff. Because I am a spoon and I do die a lot and it's kind of funny sometimes because even I laugh at myself. Is it weird that sometimes I enjoy my own content? But I suppose if I'm enjoying my own content, hopefully you guys are. So... And it looks like you are, fingers crossed. But anyway, much love. Thank you so much for supporting me as a full-time creator. I can't do this without you. So as always, keep smiling and I'll see you soon.